Today is American Business Women's Day, the time to honor the accomplishments of all the ladies entrepreneurs. The successes are undeniable. Women-owned businesses are thriving and driving economic growth. Now, more than a third of businesses across the country are owned by women, and together they generate nearly three trillion dollars. But despite those numbers, some women have a hard time actually getting up and running and started. And that's how Gayla Jennings O'Byrne can help you. She is the founder of Walkstar, a program dedicated to empowering business owners who are women of color. And Gayla joins us now in the studio with one of her graduates, Regina Gwynn. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having us. us. All right, Gayla, let's, uh, let's start with you. What are some of the barriers preventing a lot of women from jumping in and starting their own business? Yeah, I think the biggest barrier is just having access to capital and having a network. So a lot of things that we talk about is building your network, getting out and meeting people, networking in your industry and in other places. And that's really important because there are people out there, there is a lot of capital out there, but it's just making sure that you're in the right rooms and you're at the right tables when those conversations are happening. And Regina, was that one of the obstacles you had and how did Walkstar help you with overcoming that? Absolutely. So um, the work that we do at Black Women Talk Tech is critical and Walkstar has been a phenomenal partner in helping us identify resources and also the community and connections that you need. Being an entrepreneur is a tough and oftentimes <laughs> lonely road. Lonely. Um, and so having that support and that affirmation is just critical as you're building your business. Are, Gayla, would you say are there any three tips that you would actually give to women who are inspiring to jump in and start their own business? I would. The first one is stop waiting for an invitation. Mm. Crash the party. It's okay. Because guess <laughs> what? When we get there, we all have a good time. Right. So don't wait for the invitation. Crash the party. The second one is think big, right? You might start small, but think big and solve really big problems. And the third one is get comfortable advocating for yourself. Mm. People want to be helpful, but they don't know how unless you tell them where you're going to need support and help. And Regina, why would you say it's important to have organizations like Walkstar that kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting for businesses and business owners? So I think part of our challenge as women is that we always need places where we can be seen. And oftentimes for women of color, those spaces are even tinier, they're even smaller. So Walkstar provides an opportunity where it's a safe space. So you can be vulnerable enough to ask the questions that you need to move the needle on your business. You know, there's times in which you want to speak up as, as Gayla just mentioned, mm -hmm. but you don't know how, or you feel like you'll look stupid, or you know, you don't know what places to go. Walkstar is definitely one of those places where you can go. All right, last question for both of you. Gayla, what is your hope for women entrepreneurs moving forward? So my first hope is that they're going to join the Walkstar Academy. <laughs> and we just started a um, program by which any of the women in Black Women Tech Talk, any women in New York City and men um, across the country can come to the Walkstar Academy and learn how to raise capital and how to tell their story. And guess what? It's free. Oh, it's free. Okay. It's free. We're get, this That's is our way of giving back. <laughs> so my hope is that anyone who's starting a business and hasn't because they're afraid of how they're going to raise capital or how they're going to tell their story, that they find us on walkstar.com and be a part of the community and the class. And Regina, I guess just from your perspective, um, what would you say to the woman who is not quite yet on the other side like you are, but just is so empowered and inspired to start their own business? Don't wait, as Gayla just mentioned. Do not wait, don't pass go, don't collect $200, like just <laughs> get started. Um, you're already ahead of that person who's still sitting here wondering if they should start that business. Start the business, fail fast, find ways to test your product and your, mar your product market fit, right. um, and, and really just get out there. That's the very most important thing, and you will definitely see like how fast and how far you'll go with that. I think those are great words just for life. Once you begin, it's like the things that you need are attracted to you, That's but right. you got to start. That's yeah. Right. Thank you, ladies, both for being here. Thank you. Thank All you. right, and for more information on either of these organizations, you can check them out. On Instagram, we have them both right there, Walkstar Fun and Black Women Talk Tech on your screen.